Megacon 2017. The cluster bomb begins. We've got our premium badge. Here's the entrance. We've got Con exclusive shirts. These are the exclusive items for Megacon this year. The Rocky Horror Picture Show shirt is pretty cool. Got that Groot shirt, Lucille. Star Wars shirt down there. Today is Star Wars 40th anniversary. Most of the other items up top there. All right, now we're going back in again. We got uh, Groot, a couple t-shirts, Jolteon, Pikachu. This is what came in the premium package this year. You got this 40th anniversary lunchbox from Star Wars. There's nothing in it, it's just empty. Get this Stanley bag. We got a poster of Venom, 150. We got a variant edition of the Venom comic with Mary Jane, the very sexy shirt on there, but the comics are already kind of dinged up out of the package. And we got this water bottle with the Megacon logo. We got a coupon for Hot Lips and a string for something. We got our goodies. We're going on the floor. This can officially begin. First time around Megacon, you're never really sure where to start. So all of the artists are over here. We're gonna skip the artists for now. Let's check out all the vendors. We've got toys and comics and Jesse. There's a tall female Beetlejuice over there. So much stuff, we just passing by everything. Cosplayers, so many comics. Check this out, mini Lego blocks. All different characters made with little tiny Lego blocks. They're not really Lego blocks though. Snow legs. Oh, he's not so many. Nice. Wow, a tiny little guy is 260 pieces. Perfect for cats. Pops. I hate when people bark or to you when you're walking down the aisles. Like, check this out, man. Check this out. Bark, 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 bark. I'd rather just look on my own because I am much more prone to buy stuff when I'm investigating stuff. When you bark at me, I'm walking right away. Barkering is wrong? Everyone tell Jesse if barkering is correct. Look at this. Wow. I think it's called Gnome. Gnome. <laughs> Iron Man and a Gnome. Gnome, what's happening? <laughs> it's all like Marvel uh, t shirts, and you can win lunch with Stan Lee. Nice. This is the Stan Lee zone. I think Stan Lee is behind this black curtain where you can't see him. And this is his line. I don't know how many turnbacks there are in there, but this doesn't seem so bad. You can get any of these things signed by Stanley. It looks like a buck fifty to get them signed. Wow, these skateboard decks are pretty awesome. You already have and look at that guitar. It's signed by Tar McFallen and Stanley. I feel bad because we're not filming a lot of stuff, but there's so much to see. We're gonna have like a three-hour video of stuff. It's our first encountering of fidget spinners. I've never actually even seen one in person. Oh yeah. They look fancy dancy. Captain America, Batman. Fifteen dollars. I don't know. America. Look. Stare into that. You will buy it. Our two builders over here. Pennywise over here. Deadpool over there. BB-8 over there. They have the Back to the Future DeLorean here. Looks amazing. We've got to go back. They have a special experience here this weekend for like 65 bucks where you film something for like 90 seconds. And then they give you a video and uh, you have the characters in it with you. It's Biff, Doc, Jennifer. Marty is signing something down below. Oh, oh. Jesse finally found something that she wants to take a picture with. The Geico Lizard. The Gecko. It's Pika Belchu! I can do that face, you ready? Nice, it looks just like it. Can we see that again? Look, there's the face. <laughs> can you do that one? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> 1989 Batmobile. You are my dream car. 
Five bucks for a picture outside the car, ten inside, it all goes to charity. Oh my god. We will be returning and taking a picture in that car. Cecil Grimes is here with his cosplay photo op. So you get a picture with Daryl and Rick. It looks pretty amazing. Five hour energy? And there's like some thing down there. I don't know what that is. We gotta go check that out. Tots, hella jumpers. They, oh, Jesse stops right in front of me. Five hour energy, basketball and nerds and cosplay. Does it all go together? Wait, that hoop is sideways. That's not regulation. It's the Spideys and Deadpools, only to grow throughout the weekend. Would you like a stuffed egg? That one is me. You don't it's want bizarre. to like lay down You're gonna eat one that's sleeping? That one's me. I don't eat it. Styling Online is here. Spider-Man taking deep breaths. His bag's ripped, yo. Oh, I Might want to use some webs to close that up. Yeah, the fans are pretty cool. Five you. bucks. Can I throw you away? <laughs> Puns for days. Jesse's dropping everything. Let's make her really nervous. Boo! Stop dropping things. It is Star Wars Day. And we have lightsabers for sale over here. Ultra sabers. Very, very cool items. If you're not looking for like a licensed lightsaber, they have mystery box sabers too, 75 bucks a piece. It's an option to either get them with like the noise emitter or with the hilts that come off. All kinds of good stuff that you could do option wise. And here's some examples of them lit up. So this one, obviously, Anakin, Vader, Ray, Saber, and it's red, which is interesting. This is just kind of like Kylo Ren. It's a Renegade. Ha 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 ha. It's just got like the crosswalk guard. Dark Wog 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 That's my that? favorite. How do you say that? Oh. I like the Wog 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 The Shocker. Wait, that's the Crimson Reaper, but this is called Reaper. Oh. It's just red. Just Reaper? It's just red. And when it's red, it's the Crimson Reaper. I can't see. I like the Guardian Nickel. It's kind of like Obi-Wan. I don't know. I kind Obi -Wan. Of like the Man of Seas. <laughs> Manticore. Warglaive. I can't say it. How do you say it? Warglaive? Warglaive. Oh. Oh, I found the Crimson Reaper again. Oh. Oh, the, the Renegade is The right Overlord. Now. That's the Ellie then. Look. The only Overlord I know is Zach Wild. That's the limited edition one. Wow. This is Dark Man. Scorpion. What makes it a White Man? Get over here. What's the Azure? Purple. No, that's blue. Azul is blue. Azure. Yeah. Yeah. Morado is purple. Yeah. Morado is gold. Yeah. Yeah. For everyone that comments on my R2D2 shirt, this is where we got this shirt last year from this vendor. So if you come to MegaCon this weekend, remember it's conventionexclusive.com. Coming soon. And they've got all of this good stuff. These are the other kind of shirts. I really like the Major League Baseball kind of knockoff thing. It's cool. That's Jesse's demonstrating. That's what you did. You're like, it's kind of like. I like that Star Trooper one too. <laughs> also, the Kessel Run. <laughs> UD Replicas is here. Oh, God. No! This is amazing. I think I should get Batman. Paul should get Superman. We should face off in a battle of the vlogs. Come September, Halloween Horror Nights. Either Mary or Jen can dress up as uh, Wonder Woman. This is just amazing. Check this out. Film for your windows. Stained glass window film. 20 bucks. That one's 500. Oh, you can get that glass itself. Two, $520 in Millennium Falcon. Falcon. That's Fire. pretty awesome. Fire. The Firefly. Falcon. And this is Greek Orthodox pop culture fight and art. But they have a whole bunch of different things. Star Trek. Uh, Link. Vader's Vault over here. 
the Iron Forge. Okay. These different uh, lightsabers. So we're gonna go to the Stanley panel, but we were in the South Concourse, and now we have to walk outside to get to the North Concourse, which is like, you know, city block wise, like about four or five blocks away. All right, so Jess and I are in this room. This is like the biggest auditorium that they have this time around. It's not that big compared to like the big hall that we saw the special gates at Star Wars and also that was used for Megacon last year. But on that stage in a few minutes, actually 45 minutes, will be Stan Lee. We came tonight specifically for Stan Lee to also get a kind of a preview of the floor, but it's for Stan Lee because this is essentially like his farewell tour. As you can't tell already, Stan Lee is uh, very old. He's to the point now, the last time that we saw him here last year, he said that he couldn't see really, he couldn't hear very much. Um, anything he was filming for Marvel movies, he was doing in a chunk, um, just basically in his home or one place so that they have like a green screen set up. So um, I think that he's doing Megacon and he may have one or two more cons. I think he's doing New York Comic Con last, I think, um, kind of on his farewell tour. So we want to be able to pay our respects to Stan Lee. <laughs> Including Jesse. She's very happy. She's saluting. No, it makes me white. See? Oh. Like no <laughs> Look at this guy. Don't be this guy. Whatever you do when you come to Comic Con, don't be this guy. Yeah. Spinning on the nose. Captain America Shield. Oh god. Ten minutes to go. This place completely filled up now. Well, there's some seats all the way in the corner. That's kind of odd to see, but no stadium seating this time around. Much, much smaller than last year. And I thought last year was done so well. Barely get this 
Bola Barnett would call it. This kid yelled like, oh my god, he's scared! Said, Shut up! <laughs> he just like, <laughs> when that freaking out, I'm like, oh my god, it's all I need. <laughs> you walk in there and then everybody's like, just, it's like one of those <laughs> frozen in time, they're like, oh my god, Stanley. Well, welcome to the Max Amos oh. show. We'll ask you a question. And anybody who doesn't know the answer gets kicked out of here. <laughs> right? We don't get around. Because we're from Marvel. <laughs> but I can't think of any questions. I'll tell you the question that is most often asked me. I know you lay in bed at night wondering what question is most often asked there. I'm going to tell you. Go to a convention, go to a panel. All right, time for questions. One guy walks up to the microphone. I know what he's going to say. Here it comes. Who's your favorite superhero? And if I say anything but Spider-Man, they all get up and walk out. Speaking of Spider-Man, we got some very special security for you at this last floor of appearance. Now, we've got him right here on stage. Oh, good guy. <laughs> oh, you look at that. My own fighting something. <laughs> is our view now. Well set up, Megatron. Good job. I've heard that the new universe is perhaps being reformed uh, with Strike Force Moratory, and it was an astonishing, um, it seems to me, attempt to bring a new perspective on graphic adventures. Uh, and I'm way ahead of its time in terms of fighting apocalypse. So I was wondering if you could speak to that. Thank you. If you can keep the questions that short, we'll be finished. <laughs> Where was I when this was going on? <laughs> I don't remember this. You were making 
the animation series. Oh, we do it in the animation series. So anyway, what's the question? Do you know what if they're bringing back that universe? Oh, are they? It took that many words to answer. Now, I'll show you. I'll show you how to be economical with the language. Here is my reply. No. <laughs> You know, believe it or not, that's something I never think about. I, while I'm here, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. When I'm not here, it's going to not matter to me. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, when I'm not here, I'm not going to be saying, gee, I hope they're observing my life. <laughs> that's up to you. Do what you want. I set you free. That's something of a high point in, in my acting career. I don't know how they're going to top that. No, that, that was funny because when we went to film that, when I, when I saw it, I was like, holy, I just like, oh my God, you know what you're doing? He's like, oh. James Gunn, I go, I know what the F I'm doing. I'm like, you're putting everything together. These guys are going to go ballistic. I explained it to him, and he's like, that's great. <laughs> Get home and tell Joni, you can't tell her. <laughs> See, what I'm shooting for, eventually I want a Marvel movie to star me. <laughs> the guys who play Thor and Iron Man and all the others, they'll be doing cameos. <laughs> we'll see. Just wait, wait and see. <laughs> he says you're Adam Warlock. <laughs> I'd make a good Adam Warlock. I'd make a good anybody that nobody knows. So if I just ever really met them. <laughs> yeah, they discussed it years ago when it was put together. They discussed it with me for quite a while. I don't think they took any of us. <laughs> And it's a great ride, I assume you've seen it. The best thing about it, there's a little lamppost in front of it that says Stanley Boulevard. <laughs> and today it wasn't there. Well, you can imagine how angry and, and you wouldn't want to face my wrath. <laughs> but Max told me that they're redoing the thing, because they're, they're acknowledging it making it, they're refurbishing it. So if you guys go by there in the next few days and you don't see that they've replaced my Stanley Boulevard, just let me know. <laughs> There'll be a lot of excitement around here. You're saying what they're saying out there, that this is your last Orlando appearance. Hell no. <laughs> Love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Oh boy. Everyone needs to go down one stairwell. Back home from Megacon, short trip today. Um, Thursday, you know, when they stretch this out into four days, it's really kind of like three days plus a half day because, like, the Thursday, like today, they open it up. If you bought a, a higher end pass, like um, I could have gone in a little bit earlier myself, but Jesse couldn't go in. Um, but the higher end passes, you're able to start getting in at two o'clock in the afternoon. The regular passes start at four. 
the floor closes at 8, Stanley's panel was at 8, so by the time we got there after work and everything, it was um, close to 6, and we had to wait on that line and so forth, so we had less, maybe it was like 5, 5.30 or so, um, we had less than like an hour and change or so to be able to get um, onto the floor to see things, but we will see everything um, on the floor tomorrow. And we'll be there all four days popping in and out, but tomorrow perhaps um, special guests and um, we'll show you everything that there is to see out on the floor at least and maybe a couple paddles or some other stuff. But on that note, we're going to sleep for now. So thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.